Right, so I've got Jordan Clark here with me from the Academy. So Jordan, how's the Academy been since our last update? So yeah, it's um, been a bit of a whirlwind period um, on and off the field. Um, and we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about some of those bits. But no, really excited, mate, uh, as usual, just pushing forward, uh, more progression on and off the pitch. Um, but yeah, to, to home in on a few things, you know, we've had a, we've had our checkpoint reviews with our education and doing really, really well. You know, 86% of our learners are achieving above their target grade. We're now starting to get some really exciting exit routes. You know, the second years are, are in situations now where they're, they're knowing what they're going to do next year. And that for us is a great sense of uh, fulfillment because then we know our job's done well and they've gone on to something to, to better their lives, their careers, whatever it may be. Uh, that's good. That sounds good. Uh, what about on the field, sort of performances? Um, they obviously play every Wednesday, don't they? Yeah. Um, got three teams, I believe it is. Yeah, so uh, in the professional development phase, we have uh, four teams um, that make up the, so we've got the reserves on a Saturday, 18s, uh, Ishmael League side, our under 19s and our tactics league team. All sides have been performing well. Um, it's been a bit of a transitional year, like most people will know. Under 18 academy football, you go through cycles. Um, and we've had some great success over the last couple of years with the, the sort of cycle of players we've had. Uh, and this year, no disrespect to the players that are involved, but that cycle was probably a slightly weaker. Um, but we've managed to perform really well, and I'm excited about what next year holds with those teams. Uh, but, on, but on the pitch, yeah, we've done just fine, we're, com we're competitive. And I think what some people are disregarding is these players haven't had a full season for two years. So, you know, we've had a real indifferent period across the whole, or across all teams. So we've had like really good performances and then some not so good. And, uh, you know, we've managed to sort of ride that wave and, and we're in a good position. Yeah. And then obviously you've got sort of um, you've got some of the boys on loan like Dixie, uh, Ollie Allen, and how they're getting on. Yeah, good. So uh, Dixie went to South Park um, after Merstham uh, and has done really well. He's uh, new managers come in and they've they've fallen in love with him as well. He's a great player. Yeah. Um, so you know he's played now around about 50 games at step four, you know, and he's just turned 20. So he's definitely one that's progressed well and we're happy yeah. with where he's at. Ollie, um, done similar. He's um, been, was at Chips did, got a fantastic move to Kingstonian. Didn't quite work out for us in terms of the, the amount of game time he was getting. Mm -hmm. um, but now we found a, a good place for him in Hayward Heath. Scored Saturday, scored a great goal. Um, and they're in the playoffs, so he's going to get some good experience this year. Uh, that will hopefully kick him on. And with the likes of Cam Black, he's been a, a, an absolute rock for them in the turnaround that yeah. they've had. You know, under Luke Tufts, Cam was one of his first signings, and he's played every minute for him. And um, as fans, much as the their fans seem to love him, yeah, they love him. Yeah, I was, he comes down here on a Monday, does a, a, an extra session with me and, and Beardo, and he. Um, and he was telling us how much they want him to sign there and stuff like yeah. that. So it's, it's, you know, it's great because these are our players that we're developing from the academy. Yeah. You know, he's first year out of under 18s and he's making a name for himself at a step three club in a club like Leverhead with a great history. And he's um, he scored a couple of crucial goals. They got their first win, I think it was in two years, yeah. something like that, you know, back to back wins. And he, and he scored the winning goal in one of them. Yeah. You know, so it's fantastic to see him develop the way he is. No, absolutely. And Hopefully we'll see sort of at the end of in pre-season for next season and we'll see a couple of the boys involved. Um, so that'll be good for the first team. Yeah, that's the plan. It was just see we'll just have to see how we go how yeah. we go on the here as well. Obviously if we're a national league side next year, which is on the cards, it yeah. will obviously be interesting to see what yeah. we do. Um, okay, so then what about your for the academy itself for next year? We're now looking at next year's intakes have yeah. you got any recruitment events coming up yeah so our last recruitment event of, uh, recruitment event of the year is the 10th of april that's our last one we've been inundated of applications this year um through we've got two new partnerships with the ashcombe school and um the notter uh, in rygate a private school where now learners can do a levels a full scope of a levels okay. 
So this year we've had applicants, you know, upwards of 120, with only 60 places being able to be offered out. Um, so we are, you know, full to the rafters, and um, we're trying to find space for for everyone. But obviously, yeah. we're trying to find the right quality of individuals as well. Yeah. You know, both educationally and on the football pitch. So very excited about next year. We've already seen the products that we've got in the likes of Don Plank. Yeah. So he's one that will be that will be part of the full time setup next year. He's already playing for our reserve side. He's already playing for our under 18 side. And there's a couple more just like him. So next year when we talk about cycles, we're gonna have a really exciting team next year of first years, you know, and, and you know, let's see how far we can go in the likes of the FA Youth Cup and that. Yeah, again. so it'll be good fun for our fans to sort of keep an eye on the under 18s reserves team next year. Yeah, exactly. So like the reserve team this year, we we've absolutely achieved well above what, what you know, what was expected. Yeah. We are with seven games to go, we are in with a shout of, of winning it. We're, in, we're, we're there with you know five points off it. Yeah. We're well in with a shout, um, and you know for us a, a reasonable target at this point would be in the top three. Mm -hmm. And I think that's unbelievable to think that you know on Saturday um, and the Tuesday just gone, we had an average age of 18. You know yeah. we had 16 year olds <laughs> playing. You know people still in school, let alone in college, yeah. um, playing in a, a semi professional league. So. The, the youth players that we're producing are of good quality, that gives them a good grounding. Um, so I'm really hoping that next year we can continue that success. Brilliant. Um, so then what about the, it's probably a bit of a sad, getting to a bit of a sad time for you where the, the final years are leaving. Yeah. So have you got any sort of exciting prospects of where they're going or? Yeah, so we've got uh, Jack's Callis Hathaway is going out to uh, the States along with Jack Murray. Mm -hmm. um, they're both going to LA and Houston. Um, so that's a fantastic for them yeah. that they've managed to obtain scholarships uh, and both football scholarships as well so not just academic ones they're yeah, based on their footballing yeah. ability um, and then we've got loads applying for university all over the country um, so out of our 26 second years I think around about 18 of them are going to university whether that be here or in the States yeah. uh, and then we've got others going into employment looking to stay on with us so yes, yeah, it's, it's you know when they're writing their personal statements, you start getting the the sort of idea of what they want to do, and it's exciting to see that maybe in a few years some of them will be able to come back to the club and yeah. share their experiences and what they've done. Yeah. So this is really the time where you go. I can't remember when we were recruiting you as a year eleven. Yeah. Two years yeah. on, they're now going on to to university. Like loads of them are moving away for uni. They're yeah. moving up to Nottingham. You know, going to Wales for university, and it's. It's so good to see them spread their wings and, you know, from the development they've had with us, you know, go and do something like that. Yeah, and obviously, like, joining the academy, the predominant focus is sort of progressing their football mm. on the pitch, but they actually do make a big step off the pitch as well, like you say, with the, now they've got the opportunity to go to university. Yeah, exactly, and that's, and that's the, always the, been the, the target here is, yes, obviously, football-wise, we want to be the best we can be. There's no hiding that. And we're putting things in place that I'm sure we'll come on to with the youth section and that that, um, that will allow us to, to continue to produce really good players. But ultimately, as well, you know, the percentage of people that become professional footballers, you know, is in the 0, 0.0. So all we want to do is, you know, produce an environment and, and people that go on to be good members of society, yeah. improve as footballers, of course, um, and, and, and that's sort of our mantra really so the education for us is always at the forefront of what we do and then as long as that's up to standard and we're achieving like the grades that I'm telling you you know 86% above yeah. their target grade then the football will take place and, and they can progress that way but the education is always our, our target yeah priority yeah yeah you brought me on nicely actually to the youth section there's been a couple of changes yeah um, and it's an exciting time for the Wanderers youth as you say. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and, and many people who watch this who, who are fans will have kids in our youth set up who will know about this and or, and there'll be fans out there who don't. And just to give an overview is we've been working really hard behind the scenes to sort of, um, you know, cohesively put our club together and work with our elite section with Richard King, who's done a fantastic job. You look at the likes of Don Plank and then work with Paul Whitlock, Jason Booker, Richard Webber, the, the, the people that are fundamentally behind our, our youth section. And this year we've now managed to amalgamate it all 
and we've got a really exciting project now that we can look forward to over the next two, three, four, five years and beyond to grow a, a, a sort of a, a youth development and foundation phase that is unrivaled in non-league football, you know, and probably by the time it really gets going, hopefully we might be an EFL side, so it'll look completely different. But yeah. the plan we've got now is to give every player that's part of the club the opportunity to progress, give them the right support with myself and other full-time members of staff, the right coaching. So we're not only going to invest in the players, we're going to invest in the coaches and really just bring everyone together to drive up success, spearhead success. And that's not just on the field, we're talking about, you know, coach CPD, we're talking about different events for, for the players to, to experience different things. And um, yeah, watch this space, you know, because, you know, none of this will be done overnight. You know, we're not going to get it right in the next six months. Um, we're going to work hard to, and then we'll probably see the, the rewards like we did with the academy you know the professional development phase after two three years and yeah. once we start seeing that you know there'll be the first million pound Dorking Wanderers player I like to say so <laughs> hopefully one day yeah <laughs> Not too far. exactly <laughs> um, okay so that brings me on sort of nice again to the long-term plans of not just the youth section but the academy the ladies team and the rest of the, the squad the yeah club. so yeah the whole club in terms of downwards you know we've we've got an unrivaled professional development phase which, you know, in terms of a, a structure with a tiered approach that allows players to come in and develop. We've then now, obviously, as I just mentioned with the youth, you know, with the uh, foundation phase and, and youth development phase, we, we're now going to have, you know, a section that will not only provide players, but also provide an experience that will be beneficial to everyone involved. Yeah. And then, you know, the plans longer term, you know, next year, our girls academy team, we've managed to recruit 11 girls this year for the professional development phase That's yeah. yeah so there we're gonna have our own girls Academy team now so anyone else out there looking to get involved in that please get in touch um, and that's gonna go straight into our ladies section which is you know only going one direction they're doing really well in the league in the capital women's cup final so the club itself is you know pulling up trees on and off the pitch um, obviously the partnership with Ashcombe and Donata next year will only have year ones yeah. doing A levels. The following year, we'll, those year ones will be year twos, and we'll have more year ones. Yeah. So there's you know loads of progression to be made. The amount of footfall and bodies that you're going to see a part of the club are going to be huge over the next sort of 18 months. Yeah. So yeah, it's just uh, it's a lot of work to go on, but it's um, exciting times for everyone. Yeah, and a bit of a curveball here. Yeah. If if we sat here in a year's time, what would you like to be saying? now is the next development I would like to say so on the pitch yeah. I'd like to say that we achieved third round of the FA Youth Cup yeah. um, and played one of the big boys in the, you know obviously the draw will determine that but hopefully we play someone like a, a Liverpool or Man United or Man City yeah. I'd love to do that for the club and um, bring them down here to Meadowbank or, or even go away to their training grounds yeah. that's something I've seen the likes of Sutton do we got to the round two the year before last and um, I just think that's a, a realistic target with the group of players we've got. Educationally, I'd like to see a, a, a sustainability of those, of those grades across the board. Obviously, with including the A-levels, yeah. we'll be demanding similar results in terms of achieving above their target grades. So I'd like to see a similar 86%. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of the growth of the club, I'd like to see a flourishing girls academy team. Yeah, you said maybe even, even yeah, yeah, maybe even maybe even, maybe maybe even two of them. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see uh, the youth section having teams playing both in the Premier Elite of the Surrey Youth League in the JPL on a Saturday, um, and having an, an environment that is developmental but also performance based, yeah. um, and just starting to put some metrics in place that we can measure because obviously as a young club we've got no sort of way of working with these things we're putting them together yeah. with hard work dedication from volunteers really yeah we've got nothing to base it off we've got no history no. you know so everything's first time and so for us it's making the first time uh, a baseline that is you know achievable every year yeah. but also is above what other clubs are doing because we want to be the best yeah. that's just the way it is so we want to make sure that we're you know on and off the field we're achieving things that you know other clubs haven't achieved in 150 years of their history you yeah. know so 
yeah, exciting times, but they're the things I would be sort of gauging our success on over the next 12 months. Brilliant. Thank you, Jordan. Thanks for the update. No worries. Thank you very much, Ollie. No Cheers.